Hello again, I'm Leonard Malton. Here on disc two of our set, we're going to look at Mickey's cartoon comeback with two theatrical featurettes and one short subject that put everyone's favorite mouse back on the big screen in the 1980s and 90s. Then, we'll talk to some of the people responsible for those films. It will come as no surprise that they approached these assignments with great fondness for Mickey and a keen sense of responsibility to make sure they did right by him. Be sure to explore all the features on this disc as you'll find some surprises in store. Mickey Mouse had not appeared on theater screens in a new cartoon for 30 years when the animation department at the Walt Disney Studio decided it was time to revive the career of its biggest star. They could scarcely have chosen a better vehicle than Charles Dickens' most durable story, A Christmas Carol. This idea originated on a Disney record album a decade earlier. Visualizing it not only gave Mickey a perfect role as the browbeaten but indomitable Bob Cratchit, it also allowed virtually all of his animated co-stars to participate in the proceedings. The idea of casting Scrooge McDuck as Ebenezer Scrooge was, of course, unnatural. That's the one and only Clarence Nash providing the voice of Donald Duck, a young Wayne Allwine as Mickey, Will Ryan as the ghost of Christmas Present, and Alan Young as Scrooge. And how nice that director Bernie Mattinson decided to open his film with a variation on the Mickey face centered in a sunburst that had heralded so many great cartoons in the past. Mickey's Christmas Carol was nominated for an Academy Award as Best Animated Short Subject of 1983. Thank you. 